I am talking about Macho Madness and Hulkamania. Anybody that knows wrestling knows that it's synonymous with the Iron Sheik. The biggest professional athlete in the entire world, my guest at this time, his name, Andre the Giant from Grenoble, France. Legendary professional wrestling announcer and interviewer, Mean Gene Okerlund, has died. Every on-air position has somebody who's a measuring stick who also then maybe in flattery uh, gets, you know, parodied. And there's nobody uh, that tops Mean Gene Okerlund in that capacity. Hello again, everybody. Gene Okerlund here, TV. Mean Gene Okerlund was the pro wrestling announcer to go to. He was the interviewer to go to when he wanted him to talk to these talents and get them to talk about their storylines and their matches. He was the guy that you wanted to uh, stick in the microphone in their face. Macho Man nothing Randy. Means nothing means nothing. Nothing. nothing means nothing. Man. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? Uh, he's kind of like the standard of pro wrestling announcers. You know, he came over to WWF in 1984, and that's the year that Hulkamania kicked off. What's it gonna do when the Hulkamaniacs run wild on you? Right before WrestleMania started, so he's really associated with the the glory times of pro wrestling. What's the cup for? WrestleMania three, Pontiac, Michigan. Yeah, ninety thousand plus people watching right there. And this is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. I think to the fans, they always saw me and Gene Oakland talking to the big names. But I think probably from a, an internal business standpoint. I think Mean Gene was well respected because the top guys very much respected him. You gotta run a couple miles right now, but as soon as the sun comes up, miles, a couple miles. That's right. The sun's even that's up. right, Mean Gene. I don't want you to lose it out there, Daddy, because we're just getting started. Uh, him and Hulk are very good friends, very respected. It almost became part of the show. Like you look forward not just to hearing. Uh, what Hulk Hogan was going to say and, the, and the, the flexing and, and, and the ripping of the shirt, but you were just looking forward to hearing him say Mean Gene. Hulk Hogan, what is happening? Well, you know, Mean Gene, we really don't know what we're dealing with here, man. Another one was uh, another legend that had a great relationship with him was Ric Flair. And Ric Flair would, uh, you know, famously scream, Mean Woo, Gene. Mean Woo! My God! Gene! It became part of the show to hear how people were going to address Mean Gene. Uh, and then again, in his own cadence, his own way, the way that he would announce and promote stuff, he promoted WCW's uh, 900 hotline through the 90s. I have got a hotline rumor for you. This surprise will be available to you on the WCW hotline, and I have all the details. I would say a trait that made him famous would probably, again, just be his ability to communicate with the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. <laughs> he was just such a such a warm figure and then he could be again he could be so colorful and funny at a drop of a hat a lot of us are looking forward to see this gigantic egg wherever that came from i'm sure it had to hurt i've never heard anybody speak a bad word about him or have anything you know really negative to say and that's that's hard to do uh in anything but especially in the world like pro wrestling if i could get a man in if i if i could get a man in with a a little, a little lower profile, ladies and gentlemen, certainly a man who needs no introduction. First time I got to meet Anywhere him was a, was a great experience, uh, getting to sit and talk with him. They always say, beware of who you meet in terms of heroes and idols, and he never disappointed. He couldn't have been uh, more gracious, more happy to, to uh, offer advice to a younger broadcaster to just want to talk wrestling and, and go down memory lane. Um, and just a, a very, very sweet man to be around. Gene Okerlund was 76 years old.